We're talking about junk fishing. What are your thoughts on, on kayaks and wind? What do we? Hate it. You hate it. Oh, got one. A little hard on the bottom. How about that? Gosh, you hit hard. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. This episode is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. It is a subscription-based service. They send you a box of baits every single month straight to your house. If you want to pick up your own Mystery Tackle Box, it is super easy. $10, as little as $10 for your first box. If you use the code BEEFISHING at checkout, the link will be in the description. Let's open this thing up, see what we're going to be working with today. So, number one, we're talking about junk fishing, which I'm sure you saw probably from the title of this video, because I'm sure I'm going to put that in the title somewhere. But let's see what we got. We got some exopods. Those are nice. We've got some crawstyle baits from Excite Baits and Green Pumpkin. We've got a little cream lure here. And just full disclosure, I've already opened the box because, well, I've got stuff tied on already. We've also got a pack of mustad hooks. Those are the stuff I don't have tied on. The stuff I already have tied on, though, we have a Castaic deep diving crank or a medium diving crank. 10 foot max, 5 foot minimum. We also have this nice whopper plopper. Who is this by? Savage Gear, I believe. Savage Gear, whopper plopper right there. And last but not least, we've got the Lunker Hunt Shock right there. Uh, 2.5 foot diving square bill. Uh, hopefully we can catch some fish on that. This is not going to be a slam video. I'm telling you right now, it ain't going to happen. It is too hot outside. The fish are too deep. They're too finicky. It's that summer deal, you know, where it's like dog days of summer. They're not biting anything. So we're going to go junk fishing. We're basically going to take anything we can get in the box. We're going to pair it up with whatever bank we're fishing. If we see like, hey, there's wood in the water, I may break out a jig. I may break out one of them crankbaits. We're just going to figure it out. We got a junk fish to try to catch a couple fish. Chris, I don't have another box, so you're fishing with whatever you can fish with. Okay. Y'all didn't know Chris is behind the camera, but me and Chris are going to be kayak. Yep, there he is. We're going to be fishing in the kayaks down there. We've already got the kayaks down there, so let's go to the water. Let's try to get on some fish. Let's do it. All right, folks. So I've got a camera up front. I've got y'all. And I have this Savage Gear Whopper Plopper or Whopper Plopper style bait. I don't know exactly what they call it, but come on now. It's a whopper plopper. I'm going to start fishing it along this grass line, just on the edge of this grass. See if we can't get bit. Because we are junk fishing today. You may be asking yourself, well, what is junk fishing? What, what do you mean by junk fishing? Well, let's, let's be real. We've all been in a situation where we're getting ready to go fishing the next day. And we grab, we rig up our rods, we grab the stuff that we know where we're going. This stuff should work they should be on this type of bite, right? And then you get out there and nothing happens. Nothing goes according to plan. Nothing's biting the stuff that you brought and you get kind of lost. You're, you're wondering to yourself, what, what's going on? Junk fishing is when you basically scrap your plan. You're not looking for a pattern. You just start looking for bites. It's where you're scanning the shoreline and you go, oh look, there's some timber. I bet you I could throw a spinner bait or a crank bait around that timber you start going back to the basic stuff of where fish should be if something looks fishy you pick the best bait for that type of thing and you just go with it uh, that's called junk fishing and junk fishing is really what a, what a bunch of us do anyway when you can't establish a, an exact pattern you junk fish you go back to what should work at different places things that look fishy and you just go out and try to kill them all right, we're going to put up the whopper plopper for a second. Here's what I'm seeing. And again, we're junk fishing and we're not getting any bites so far. So I'm watching the wind come in a little bit. You can see the ripple on top of the water. And I've got that grass line right there. That screams spinner bait or chatter bait. And it just so happens there's a spinner bait in the box. Nice little cream spinner bait there. Look, a little hard on the bottom. How about that? Oh, I think that's telling us either cream or mystery tackle box loves us. I'm gonna say it's mystery tackle box. <clears throat> Got one. He ain't big. He ain't big at all, but he's a spot. Gosh, he hit hard. Flip him in the boat without losing him. Yeah, he's a little guy. A little spotted bass along that grass line. Look how skinny he is, wow. All right, well, either way, you know what that's called though? Still counts. That's what that's called. It still counts. So the spinner bait obviously paid off on this grass line. Dude, these little spots hit so aggressively. So aggressively. Bye, buddy. Whew. So that one's done. Again, we're not necessarily doing a slam, but we are trying to cover at least everything once. 
All right, I think. All right, so I'm going to tie this guy on next. This is from the Impact Series Lunker Hunt Shock. Two and a half foot diving, little square bill. It's kind of a rounded square bill. Should have a pretty wide wobble. A um, lot of noise. Let's see if we can't get bit on this guy in this grass because it's a little bit shallower on this side of the bank. Oh, got one. Got one on that lunker hunt. He seems like a good fighter. He's a, he's a spot for sure. Don't come off, buddy. Yep, good spot right there on that lunker hunt. He was not hooked very, very well. There you go. Look at that spot. That's a nice spot right there. Whew. Good looking spot on the lunker hunt. Uh, that 2.5. Again, just junk fishing. That, that, that bank just called to me. And this guy came up and destroyed it. He's a good, he looks like he's at least two pounds plus. Gosh, I love spotted bass. They fight so hard. The only thing that fights harder is a small mouth. Oh man, I love spotted bass. They just, they have a different way about them. Watch, watch this, watch this release. See, they're just mean. They're just mean. They don't, they don't have a general release like a largey where they just sort of drift off. They always give you a kick or a splash or something. So, lunker hunt, done. I mean, on a totally obvious bank, shallow rock, boom. Officially putting crankbait up. So we've gotten bit on the spinnerbait, we've gotten bit on the little tiny square bill crankbait. Thus far, we have not got any bites or even what could be perceived as bites from the uh, deeper diving crankbait or the, uh, the whopper plopper. But I'm gonna rig up this little crawl right here by Excites Baits. This thing actually looks like it could do a number of things. We're gonna throw it on a Texas rig to start with. We may switch to a jig. Um, but we're going to try Texas rig first. See if we can't get bit on this. And uh, I'm going to fish this with, because it's on a Texas rig, I'm going to fish this around timber, rock, uh, different places. I could even pitch this into some grass. So I've got a lot of options with this Texas rig. So we're going to give this a shot for a minute. I think I got a fish on, boys. Unless he just let it go, no. Yeah, I do. Uh, he got off. Got off. He's a decent little spot. Let's go check in on Chris and see what he's up to before we wrap this video up, because y'all have been hanging out with me the entire time and y'all know what I've been doing. I have been sucking it up. Maybe Chris is doing better. Maybe he's found something that we didn't. All right, so they've been hanging out with me for the most part, Chris. So what have you been doing? How many fish have you got? Two fish. One on crankbait. Then one on a, a like a finesse type. What is this thing called? Fat baby finesse. Him in the boat. All right. A nice spot. Had another bite on a worm, but wind and kayak, trying to sit yourself paddle. And that's, of course, that's when the fish is going to bite. So. Let's hear your thoughts on, on kayaks and wind. What do you... I hate it. You hate it. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get back on shore. We'll wrap the video up at the truck, and uh, I guess we'll call it. We both got two babies, and uh, between the two of us, we got two little babies and then, like, two... I mean, a two pounds, oh, oh boy, you about lost that rod. That was close. You can say you didn't about lose it, but that was close, my friend. That was pretty close. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for today's episode. Chris ended up with two fish. I ended up with two fish. And we both ended up with a little bit of heartache <laughs> and sweat. Let me tell you, like dog days, August, even early part of September, that's rough fishing right there. That is a grind. If you're going to be out on the water, make sure you do it early or late. Don't be out there in the middle of the day. That's no fun for anybody. But what will be fun for somebody is the Mystery Tackle Box. Y'all know how I do this every single month. Uh, I give the thing away. So 
all the baits are still in pretty good condition because well we only caught two fish so i'm really shocked i didn't get one on the, the bigger crank i was pretty sure i was going to get bit on that and it just didn't happen anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, again if you want to pick up your own mystery tackle box if you happen not to win this one super easy hit the first link in the description and use the code be fishing at checkout get it for as little as ten dollars and y'all know what to do hit the like button leave a comment you got to do those two things to be entered to win the box as well as hit the red subscribe button. See that color Chris is wearing right there? Gotta hit that color subscribe button. Hit the ding dong notifications because I will announce the winner in the next video. It'll be in the description. So you wanna have those ding dong notifications turned on so you'll claim it. A lot of y'all don't claim these giveaways because you don't have the ding dong notifications on. What are y'all doing? Get the ding dong notifications on and uh, Chris, you got any parting words? Till next time. We'll catch you on the next one.